like, it's supposed to be weeds. <laughs> you know, terrible failure. Um, eight minute abs did pretty good for me. Uh, that was a two and a half year uh, uh, business, but the, the, the part of that I had, we just didn't get along. We had different visions for the business. So uh, I cut that short. It was it, at the end of the day, based on what I had invested in uh, time and energy, um, it, it was a failure, but there was there were successes. In fact, in all these things that I'm describing, there were successes, but it was my mentality that was the ultimate success. Even in the 0 and 17 season and the 0 and 15 season, um, one day I was my dad would drive me back and forth. Uh, he would drive me back and forth to the games. And uh, it was about we were like we had lost, you know, 15 straight basketball, and I was just like in the front seat, hanging my head, felt terrible. And he goes, "Are you kidding? You try harder than anybody on that floor every time you go out. I love watching you play. That's why I come to every single game. Huge success for me in that failure." You will fail every week a little bit. You might have already, you might have had good success already with this business and found some failure within it. And then you're going to have to get it back. You might be sitting here going, God, my leadership, I kind of feel like a fraud because I don't feel like I'm a leader right now. I haven't been leading. I got into management mode. And uh, you're going to have to get it back. But you're going to have to, you know, look at yourself through the same lens that I look at my career, that I look at, you know, the fact that I haven't been able to get Body Beast to roll out. I haven't been very successful getting Turbo Kick, Turbo Fire uh, to, to roll out nationally. Shalene Extreme, we couldn't get that show to roll out. Tai Chang, we haven't been able to get that show to roll out. Uh, Slim and Six has struggled for the last three years. Power 90 finally ran its course. Even P90X isn't really running on the air right now. P90X2 didn't run out, didn't really roll out as an infomercial. But on the other hand, P90X, most famous brand in fitness right now, insanity, enormous success, number one infomercial for the last three years. We sell a $120 bag of powder that actually feeds people really well. And it's now some 170,000 units of that product a month after everybody said there's no way that you can sell a meal replacement shake for $4 a serving. We did it. We have over 130,000 coaches now helping people achieve their goals to lead healthy, fulfilling lives. Am I surrounded by failure? You're damn right I am. And am I more excited every day to achieve more failure because on top of that comes success like being in a room full of you people? you damn right I am as well. That's what we do. What we, do. You know, we talk about Super Saturday, and every time we talk about Super Saturday or the Team Cup, like there's a little part of me that goes, ah, you know, or the, even the wake up call. Like I look at the numbers of these things and I go, ah. You know, we get maybe 1,500 to 2,000, somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 people on these wake-up calls every Monday out of 133,000 coaches. And I go, why, why am I unsuccessful at getting 5,000 people on this call to get the week started right? Out of 100 and something thousand coaches last June, why could I only get 7,000 people when there's other network marketing companies that don't have nearly the heart as this one have... 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 people coming to their national convention. I don't understand all these numbers. All I know is we just keep trying. And every time we can get you to show up and we can put on these Super Saturdays, we're going to try again. Like Jeff said, we're going to try that bucket brigade. We're going to try to get more people into the heart of this business. Just see it as more than just another network marketing business. Or see it more as a way to buy product at a discount. And see it as an imperative that they truly try to help people. Why is the number $900 so important? Because out of Coach Basics, you have the ability to help people who are absolutely suffering out there, who have no cash flow, who are going to go into more debt this holiday season. You have the ability to lead and get them that cash flow so they don't, they don't go into any deeper debt, perhaps pay off some debt, and pay cash for their holiday gifts this year. 
but you have to be the ones that look through all the failure, all the rejection, all the turn downs, I'm not going to Super Saturday, oh yeah, I'll be there, but they don't show up, you gotta invite them again. You gotta find a way to reach these people. That's what we do at corporate. We try to get people on the national call, we try to get them to Super Saturday, we try to get them to Summit, and we're gonna keep on trying and we're gonna get more and more successful at it, and every day, you know, look at this trend of obesity. It's ridiculous. Here we are taking on a trend of obesity that has two-thirds of the population overweight or obese. Unbelievable that we were trying to take that on. And you know what? We succeed a little bit every single day because of you. Because you refuse to quit. Because you take things like coach basics. Because you take things like the three vital behaviors. And you just keep going with it. Regardless of whether, when you wake up Monday and then between Monday morning and going to sleep Sunday night, you might have an 0 for 17 season of rejections that week. But maybe you're going to be lucky and you're going to be in a car beside your dad and he's going to say, kiddo, you kept trying. And who knows what skills you picked up during that week? Who knows how you fed your heart? Who knows just who you might have touched by talking to them, by sharing with them the fact that there's a program called X3 coming out, the fact that there's this shape that can help them daily. They can just take their daily dose of dense nutrition and they can improve their health and help their body heal itself. You don't know who you're touching. Now, it's one thing for you to know that. It's a whole other thing now for you to go home or you to get on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and phone calls and just coffee clutches, wherever you can meet up with your team and get them to feel the same sense of it's okay to fail. And within that failure, you're going to find the next success. If your intent is to help people achieve their goals, to lead healthy, fulfilling lives, you will be unstoppable. If every morning you wake up with that, and if and, if, and, and you know we had the big dream at Summit, I wonder how many of you have already let that big dream go, or you thought that was just sort of an exercise to put on the index card, and how many people operate like I do and stoke that fire every single day so that it's hard to sleep. I, I implore, just for your own life, there's nothing worse than being sort of in this self-imposed prison of inertia, of, of a lack of activity. You need to be the person taking the initiative in your own life. And then, real freedom, the freedom to be able to create a life. That, you know, that there's, this, um, there's this store that you walk by. I walk by at the airport. It says, life is good. And one day, it was right after uh, the anniversary of September 11th. I was walking by that, and I was like, wow, life is good. It's an interesting brand name. And uh, I thought... I bet you on September 11th, that was a difficult brand for people to connect with. Because there was not a lot of people, <coughs> certainly anybody touched by uh, that tragedy, thinking life is good. Life is hard. And I saw one time a guy on Twitter said, you know, he put up the quote, life is, life is hard, and he put, compared to what? Which I thought was kind of interesting because, you know, well, life is hard yeah, compared to what? It's just life. Life just is. Life is what you make of it. And I think sometimes... We, people, can have an expectation that life is supposed to be good. We are born here. We don't know what the parents are going to be like. We don't know what sort of circumstances we're going to have. We don't know what sort of addictions we might fall into or traps we might fall into or spouses or circumstances or jobs or whatever. Life just is, man. We, there's no guarantee and there, there is no requirement that life be good. And don't let anybody make you feel bad if for some reason you go, you know what, right now life is not so good. It is not a requirement that you think life is good. But I think that what's possible is to create good. Freedom is, the, is, the, is having the tools and the hope to create more out of your circumstance, to take the initiative to create something, regardless of how bad it is or the setbacks. You just don't quit on yourself. That's what I want for everybody out of this business. Help people achieve their goals, lead healthy, fulfilling lives. I just want people to not quit on themselves. 
to use these tools. We try to refine these tools so that people will really get the results that they want out of their fitness program, out of their weight loss, and hopefully to create an income for themselves so, like Becky, they can be there for their kids to drop them off at school or pick them up after school. Whatever her fulfilling life is, we want to give her the tool to do that. We want you to take these tools, deliver them, teach them to your teams so that you are helping people lead healthy, fulfilling lives. So then maybe, instead of them feeling trapped by a life that's not so good, they feel like they can create the life that they would love to live. So that they have the tools to solve the problems. They have hope so that they can get over when things are tough. They have the ability to cope with failure and turn it positive for themselves rather than feeling like they have a dark cloud over their heads. That's the power that we have at Team Beach Body. That's what feels so good about this. I've said it before, I, I think it's the most fantastic company uh, in the world, and it's not because John and I are so special, it just meant we've managed to attract people like you, and people like you saw up here on the stage. People come visit the office and they go, I can't believe the energy that I feel in this place. And I feel the same way every time I go to work. I feel the same time, the same way every time I come to one of these events. I feel like I'm getting together with family and friends. It really is true. How long till the party? <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to thank you guys for carrying this message. You know that I'm counting on you. We'll do the best we can. I'm hitting Facebook. I'm hitting Instagram. But... You know, actually one of the things that I'm actually more impressed with this event than, than other events is how little you've required or asked of me. It, it, it really does feel like it doesn't rely on me to be a leader. You know, Jeff was nice enough to say I'm a leader, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and I do, you know, I, I do like my job as CEO of the business, but I also think that it has transcended me now. And it's in your hands. And you're doing an unbelievably good job with it in a really solid, fundamental way. And I'm exceptionally grateful for that. And, uh, and now it's going to be up to you to take these things, to take them home, and pack those rooms Super Saturday. I'm going to be in Puerto Rico, in Miami. <laughs> Hopefully not stumbling. You know, I can't speak any Spanish. I'm terrible. But... Uh, but uh, we'll hopefully communicate through the language of them. Uh, <laughs> we'll do the forbidden dance. <laughs> um, that's the Lombard, right? <laughs> um, so, but pack those Super Saturdays. The team cup is not just about that cool cup, but it's about getting people taking action, even here in the, in, in the fall. It's about getting people to realize that they don't have to start with a New Year's resolution January 1st. It feels really good. Take it from a guy who just finished his 21 days. It feels really good to take action right now. If you have gotten off track, or perhaps your team has, now is the time to start a challenge group. Maybe start a 30-day challenge group, or just a 60-day, or whatever. But do something to get people back into the lifestyle. It's going to be easier then to bring them into X3. It's going to be easier then to get them to do the reset. It's going to be easier then to start New Year's off right with more momentum. Don't wait for when it's easy to do the job. Teach your teams not to wait for when it's easy to help people get healthy and fit. Now's the time that we need to keep the decibel level up of this so that we're truly having an impact on the lifestyle. All right, but you guys have learned so much. I just, I want to let you absorb it. I just want to tell you that what matters now, just like Jeff said, is how you take this thing home and how you lead and how you live it, how you live this stuff and take this stuff and put it into action. It goes nowhere if it just, if, if there is no initiative. You wake up more Monday morning and you've got to find a way to turn it on and turn it on strong. That's what I try to do. You see my posts in the morning. My brother said we were at a wedding last week, and he goes, I can always tell when you wake up. I'm like, why is that? And he goes, well, that's when I can see your Twitter go off. I'm like, yeah, because like the first thing, I'm like, all right, how do I get traction on this? And then something will happen, and I'll, and I'll do it, and I'll share what I'm feeling, and I'll share how I got, my, how I got the ignition to turn over, to, to really stoke the fire. You've got to do that, too. All right? So take everything you learned. Make something big happen. Don't worry about the failures. We are all going to fail together constantly. And in that, we're going to gather these successes 
and continue to create something really great here. And it is Team Beachbody, and it is all of us, and I'm extremely grateful. Thank you for coming to Leadership.